welcome back again to another Twi Chick Thursday. This week it's going to be all about my favorite and my not so favorite concealers, starting with some of my favorite drugstore brands all the way up to my higher end. So starting off with one of my favorite inexpensive drugstore concealers. This one is the e.l.f. All Over Cover Stay. Shade Spice. This is one of my favorite concealers just to throw in my makeup bag because this is only a dollar. I purchased this from Target. But that's what the concealer looks like. This one like. has a really creamy consistency. I don't use this underneath my eye. I just use it just if I need to conceal any little problem areas. The brand Hard Candy Glamouflage Heavy Duty Concealer. I picked this up in the shade Tan. and also comes with this little tiny concealer pencil. I love, love this duo. This one is fairly inexpensive. I think about $5 or so from Walmart. I love using this underneath my right eyes. Right there is some of the Hard Candy Glamouflage. And a little swatch of the concealer pencil and let me blend this This is out. a fairly thick concealer. I also use this sometimes if I have a little blemish and I'll just put it right on my little blemish and then um, set it with some Another powder. one of my favorite is from Garnier. Skin Renew Anti-Dark Circle Roller. This is a two-in-one roll-on eye care plus concealer. This is supposed to instantly correct dark circles and it's supposed to brighten your skin. And it has this roller at the bottom which I really love and I love the cooling effect that it Creates. This is in the shade Sheer Tint. So this one really does brighten underneath your eyes. And in the morning, my eyes do tend to get puffy. So this is a great this product. This has a lighter consistency to it. Sometimes when you actually roll this underneath your eyes, it could look a bit streaky. But as long as you blend it out, it's completely fine. I haven't had a problem with this creasing at all. I purchased all. this for about $10 at Walmart. Another one of my favorites is from Revlon. And this is the Revlon Photo Ready Concealer. This is in shade... 004 which is medium. There's a swatch of the concealer. I don't know if you guys can really see it on camera. I love how this is in a stick form and it kind of just clicks I up. use this again underneath my eyes or a little problem this area. This has a um, buildable coverage. You can make it as light or as heavy as you'd like. I also haven't had a problem with this creasing. This product is about nine to ten dollars so it is fairly affordable. Last but not the least it has to be this Kat Von D Lock It Tattoo Concealer. I picked this up in the shade medium 28 which is a really good match. I love this concealer. This will conceal practically everything and trust me it took me a very long time to go out and purchase Every it. Every time I went to Sephora I asked for a couple sample because I couldn't really decide if I wanted to spend the 25 bucks on this concealer. This is what the concealer looks like. It is fairly thick. This thing, it covers everything. I have not had a problem with this creasing underneath my eyes. This shade medium 28 is absolutely wonderful for my skin tone. It blends right in. If you guys really aren't so sure if you want to purchase this, I definitely would ask for as many samples as you can get from Sephora before even purchasing the full size and see if you guys love the product or not because I absolutely fell in love with this So concealer. now that you guys know about the concealers that I absolutely love, I want to talk about the concealers which I really dislike and would not repurchase ever. So the first one I want to talk about is from Hard Candy and this is the Hard Candy Undercover Agent Under Eye Brightener and Concealer Duo. To be quite honest with you, I've been using this just to kind of finish up whatever product is left in here. In this tube right here, it has the under eye brightener, which, you know, I personally don't even use this. I've only used it maybe like twice. I um, didn't really care much for, for it. the concealer up here, you get about 0.48 ounces of product. This is what the product looks I like. I would much rather get the Glamouflage concealer from Hard Candy um, over this so one. So the next concealer, which I really dislike. It's actually this concealer from NYX, and this is the NYX Above and Beyond Full Coverage Concealer. And I got this in the shade Medium. You get about 0.21 ounces of product in here. I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see that on camera. Quite honestly, for my oily skin, this really did not work very well. Sometimes I would have like a little blemish or just something I would like to conceal and whenever I would dab this onto that little area, that part would be extremely oily. I'd say like an hour after I applied this concealer. I mean, I've tried to use this so many times, but no matter how much I tried to make this work, it just the really wouldn't. The last but not the least is from Benefit, and this is the Boing Concealer. This product, you get about 1.4 grams of product in I here. I really tried to make this concealer work for me, but it just wouldn't. Every time I would use it, I noticed that I would have like a white cast underneath here. That's even without setting it with any powder, or even if I set it with powder, 
the same thing would happen. I also noticed that it did crease underneath my eyes, which I was really disappointed with because I really tried to make this work for me, but it just didn't. Those are all of my concealers, the good and the bad. I hope you guys found this, I don't know, would you call this like a little review um, helpful? If you guys have any questions about any of the concealers, please feel free to leave it in the comment box below. As always, thank you so much for taking the time out to watch Twi Chick Thursday. Please don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe, and I'll see all of you next Thursday. Bye.